change um right you won't know this yet and i'll explain it in a later tutorial but this is basically inserting um an int value into workspace.test instance.new that's instance table in inside it is a function called new the function new the first argument is the thing you want to insert and the second argument is the parent you won't know into value yet is yet but I'll show you it later. I'll explain that in another tutorial. How much time? Uh, ooh. Because I've gone over, this is probably going to be split into two tutorials because I, well, two videos, not tutorials. This is probably going to be split into two because I've run out of time, unless YouTube lets me upload a longer 15 minute video, which it won't. Instantly, int value workspace.test. This creates a part in works, in, in, this creates int value in workspace.test. So if we press play now, I forgot an end. That was clever. This is why you should always tab. So in for loops we should tab everything. And right end. So basically press play. No, I'm not a fan. Oop, I thought it's a bit of weight. Let's make this wait one. So this will only run every 10 seconds. Every one second even. So if we use this. No, I'm not found. And remember, we told our script to wait 10, then insert something called num. Actually, I forgot to... This, that wasn't very clever. We forgot to... N we forgot to name it one. So, because this returns a value in workspace.test, we can just change dot name equals num. Let's play. None that found. It's running script 2, which is, no, it's running script, which is the one that waits 10 seconds, then it starts num. Let's wait until it stops printing that. Oh, it's stopped printing, which means it's found it. And if I show you in Explorer, if I can move the camera, in test, there's now something called num, and its value is getting up every second because the for loop told us, and it'll go up to 100 because in the for loop, that's not the for loop. In the for loop, it goes up to 100. And that's going up. That's now at 40. So this is why Fine Shark can be really useful. You can check if something's there. You can check if someone's arm's there if you want to do something. Say you wanted a script that if you walk into it, it makes... If, if you walk into it, it makes your arm transparent. Well, that script will error if you don't have an arm. Because... It will try. It will try and set an arm to invisible, and it can't find the arm, so it will just glitch. Which is that's a, that's why a lot of things are broken. That's why a lot of games you just think, oh my god, uh, my leg, my I'm invisible. I walked into it, and it's not working because it's, I'm invisible. That won't happen because it's not. It's not working because something's not there. That's they need a fine first child in there. How much time I've got left in this tutorial? Because this was two tutorials. It's been 18 minutes in total. So if I can make I can make that a total of thirty minutes, we won't want it though. I'll I can show you another function. Let's see what other ones in base part. What ones would be useful? Get tr get children ah break joints. You probably heard this one. Get children is really useful, but we don't know tables yet. So it says returns a read-only table if this object children, and you don't know what how to use table. V break joints. This doesn't return anything. That's why it says void. So. I'm sure you will have heard of this function before. If you call break joints, it it breaks the joints of um, anything in it. So if I make this, I'll make this like that, and then let's just resize it. Uh, where's the resize all gone? Stupid new robot layout. All of this, well, none of it's anchored. None of it's anchored, but they're all joined together with these studs, so they will not fall down. Actually, it might fall down at the bottom. That that's connected with the studs as well. So none of these will fall down. So if I press play, that wouldn't fall down, even though it looks like it should, because they're all connected with studs and they don't break unless some massive force. Explosions called break jumps and things. So if let's just delete these scripts because we don't need them and just completely delete that one. 
So let's wait five seconds. Oh, how much time have I got left? Uh, 20 minutes. So, if... Oh, we need to group this into a model first. Hang on. Oops. If you've seen here, to group within a model, you either right-click on it and then press group, but that sometimes glitches loads of stuff. Or you can just press Control and G at the same time with your keyboard, which groups them together in a model, which we're going to name... Thing. If we wait five seconds then, workspace dot thing break joints. As I said, you don't need this first B capsule, it doesn't matter which one you use. Whoa, you can't see that. Sorry. The workspace dot thing colon break joints. Hopefully I've moved the camera enough. Press play. And after five seconds. This joint breaks, and we see Robux's awesome physics. Let's just wait. So that's what break joints is. Break joints. If you see the the joints, there isn't any joints on this side, or this there isn't any joints on this side or this side. But these are, see these studs. Go away, stupid. These studs. Why is it highlighting that? It's annoying. These studs are joints. And these studs are what's keeping it in place. Because if I press, if I smooth that and press play, that would fall off straight away, and then it would break, and then the rest of it would break joints. That's what break joints does. I, uh, I'm going to end this now because I'm. You don't want any too many functions, built-in functions. In the next tutorial, we'll be do. We'll be making something cool. Actually, or uh, making a nuke. We'll be making a nuke with all the stuff we've learned at the moment. Um. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you at our nuke making tutorial.